welcome to Flight Fest. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. It's, it's been quite a week. It's been full on, full yeah. on. I'm having yeah. lots of nightmares. Yeah. yeah. You are. I bet you are. Seeing lots of good films. You've got your own film screening here. Can, tell us more about it. Well, Sissy is uh, what we have now coined a glitter gore movie, kind of aimed at Gen Z and millennials, you know, deconstructing uh, social media culture, the impact on mental health. Yeah, I mean, it's really just a, it's just a kind of movie about a social media influencer who, you know, uh, who runs into an old friend from childhood, gets invited away to a bachelorette weekend, or as we say in our countries, a hen's weekend, or a Hindu. We say the Americans don't know what we're talking about in the movie. Um, like, what's all these chickens? And you know, what, what happens when you arrive at that house and you realize that it's uh, owned by your high school bully? Uh, who tormented you and what does that bring out in you um, so and it's a kind of descent into madness in that sense and yeah, triggers yeah, yeah. hashtag yeah. triggers hashtag yeah. triggers, <laughs> <laughs> triggers. And, and did you kind of go into your own kind of exploration into the, the kind of the negative side of uh, social media and being you know and, and the repercussions that it can have on people and the mental Absolutely. That was the starting point. You know, we started writing this right after Trump was inaugurated, looking at the statistics online, the, the growing divide between different factions of our culture within our generation and um, suicide rates are getting higher because of online bullying. Also, the image that we project as, uh, about ourselves as individuals online is not the same as reality. And that's significantly contributing to mental health issues. Um, so we wanted to make a film about that in a gleeful way. Yeah, but but also kind of learning not to not to judge because we all do it. Yeah. Um, it's not about kind of um, keeping the villain at an arm's length like it might be in kind of the case of like Halloween or Friday the Thirteenth or kind of any real slashes before. It's about kind of embracing the, the idea that we all are the antagonists in our own lives, and um, and that's okay. Don't judge yourself, hate yourself, but just try to really kind of like work out where that's coming from, and that's that's what the film is about. Self-responsibility. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. Here at a horror festival, so what has horror as a genre allowed you to explore um, perhaps maybe the extremities of yeah. this kind of behaviour that maybe other genres wouldn't give you the freedom to do perhaps? I mean, absolutely. Like, horror is probably the only genre where you can kind of turn the dial up to 11 and not only get away with it and it's accepted, but it's, it's what the audience craves. It's what they want. They want to be challenged. They want it to be pushed. And so I think if you look at all kind of the violence in the film as somewhat of a metaphor for kind of what we're doing to ourselves with our self-loathing and our comparison anxiety, and that's, that's, that's what horror allows us to do is really kind of like represent that in a fun, entertaining and visceral way. Um, without feeling like this is ridiculous and it's over the top and would never happen. The audience kind of is down for it. I, I, I hope, I hope. I think you said that perfectly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what attracted me to Sissy was the fact that it was a satirical horror. I personally don't watch that much horror films, which is hilarious because I'm at Fright Fest. Um, but I just love the satirical element to it and the fact that they wanted me to play the villain. And it kind of terrifies me and makes me uncomfortable, but that's why I was so much drawn to it. <laughs> And social media as well is kind of at the heart of this, it, so it makes it a very contemporary mm -hmm. film and maybe sort of the theme's very current as well. Mm -hmm. The theme is definitely very current. We're like living in an era of social media and I think the correlation between mental health and social media is very predominant. Um, it's something that we should be exploring. And, and you said you're playing the antagonist, so it's yes. often more fun to be the baddie. Much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Much more fun. <laughs> and, and, so, so, and tell me about horror, and you said you're not necessarily somebody that watches it, but mm -hmm. it does give us an opportunity to explore, you know, you study the human condition as, as an mm -hmm. actor, so mm -hmm. what horror does is allow us to kind of explore it in a kind of more sort of visceral and, and without boundaries sort of way. Mm -hmm. that, is that something that kind of attracts you as well. How do you mean? So, so you can see uh, horror allows us to push the boundaries where maybe other genres don't mm -hmm. necessarily do that. They mm -hmm. kind of play it safe. Horror doesn't really do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, this definitely pushed the boundaries. I mean, no spoilers, but uh, we definitely have some gruesome deaths in it, uh, which is quite fun. And I think um, pushing it that far was kind of fun to do and explore it in that way. It drew, drew people in, I think, a little bit more. I hope so, at yeah. least. <laughs>
And are you enjoying it, the, the fact that it's an independent film and, you know, there's camaraderie and everybody's in it together? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It's been lots of fun. We filmed it in my hometown in Canberra, Australia, which is the capital of Australia, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. I noticed, like, all the locations, uh, like, where I grew up. Um, I live in L.A. now, but um, it was nice to be around that. <laughs>